YouTube and welcome to Retrobit. In today's episode, we are going back to one of my favorite series at the minute. We're going to be playing Homebrew on the ZX Spectrum. Today's game is Space Monsters Meet the Hardy. Now in Scotland, hardy means that it's very hard, something that's really solid. So not quite looking or not, not quite sure how, uh, <laughs> what to think about this game because if it's a hard game, you've seen my gameplay, you know how bad I am. So I'm hoping uh, it's not an actual meaning to the game. Maybe his second name is just hardy. So here's a quick look at the front cover again, guys. And as we can see, it is a sealed game. It's brand new. Um, this game is from Bitmaps, Bit, Bitmap Soft. I always have trouble saying that. Um, it's a 1 2 8 game, but will also run on your 48k spectrum. However, there will be no sound. Um, so let's get this bad boy open. This game only took two days to get to me. And um, you also receive a digital uh, download link as well. So if you have a Div MMX device for your Spectrum, you'll be able to load it onto there and play it too, in case you have a bit of trouble with the tape, which I do sometimes. Um, so yeah, let's have a look inside. I've got a nice tape there, guys. As you can see, very nice. This is our main character Hardy, and these are the space monsters. So, not sure what the, the story is to the game. Um, I shall soon tell you. Very nice cover there. Of course, as I always say, absolutely love homebrew um, on all the micros. It's great when you can have a physical copy in your hand. Um, so yeah, we play as Hardy, his task is to find and neutralize all the space monsters that lurk around a multi-maze level. There are special elevators to help you in between the levels. You will first have to find a key for each elevator, but not everything is so straightforward. Both are well protected, and in addition to the monsters themselves, you will find many obstacles of varying degrees and complexity. So guys, this looks pretty decent to me. Um, controls, left, right, up, down, and space is fire. Um, I'll be using this, the NES controller that I've um, butchered, so that up is doubled with the second fire button, which I find massively helps on platformers, and I genuinely need every little bit of help um, that I can get. So, um, yeah, this game was the Yandex Games Battle 2019 runner-up, so I'm expecting good things from it. Um, it was developed by Mayhem and Conscience. Uh, the cover art, I mean, that's a lovely bit of cover art there. The cover art is by Rick Lum and Damien Dry also helped out on some of the artwork uh, and was produced by Jamie uh, Batterson, um, whose name I also saw at the back there along with Darren Doyle um, because Bitmap is a joint venture of them. Just see this here in case you can't see guys. So that's a little look at the game. Now I'm going to load it up on the Specky and we're going to give it a blast and I'm really excited for this one, it looks right up my street. So without further ado, here is the gameplay. So guys, that's us loaded up. This is Space Monsters Meet the Hardy. Um, loaded up no problem, which is always a good sign. Uh, the music sounds sounds brilliant, actually. It sounds really good. Nice bit of bass and a good tune. The music's a huge uh, source of nostalgia for me. I do enjoy game in-game music. Uh, okay, so we're gonna go three for the Kempston. So we've got a timer, we've got a gun. Okay, that doesn't kill us. Oops, jump. Wow, wow, that was fast. Uh, <laughs> okay, so we can't, we must have to get, there must be a, some sort of card or something up there, do you think? Wow, okay, so, yeah, it looks like you've got to collect, um, like a key card to get through the door. Makes sense. Um, we've got five lives there. There's also a timer in the middle. 
and what I imagine is your health bar on the right hand side. Um, so yeah, that was level one. Feels really fast, like really fast. Okay, they're not good. So that's where the key card is. So down to the left. Uh, so we don't have to really go that way. Um, oh, bollocks. <laughs> I don't know. Right, there's the exit. Ah, oh, I didn't get that last bad guy. Definitely makes you think about things when um, you're against the timer as well. Get some. Oh, I don't know if that was good or bad. That was bad. There. That was a bomb or something. I don't know if that hurt me. I don't think it did. I think it can jump on them. I don't know if that damaged me. Probably. Oh, bollocks. <laughs> Yeah, it makes you think you've got they've got the timer. The timer must seems to go up with there. Uh, okay, so that's the exit, so I need to go back this way. But I've only got not much energy left and I've got some hard jumps here. Oh bollocks. with the speed of the game especially with having a timer I think you need it to be fast right, so need to jump right over there All right, let's, we've got 16 seconds to get back oh my word oh I don't know if I'm going to do this oh shit <laughs> Oh, 2.9 seconds. I missed that last person to kill, though. So, level 5. Okay, so we can't kill that. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, but we can jump it. Right, okay. So, when we do land on things, it does kill them. But not when you jump into them. This level looks massive. Right where I started. It's just along here then. Oh no, that was an absolute killer, that thing landing on me there. Guys, this is an absolutely cracking game. Definitely having a second one. Thank you. 
No! <laughs> She's not a loss of life there. I think I went this way last time, it was faster. Oh, you find yourself rushing a bit though. Be nice to be able to think about things a bit more. Maybe if there was like something to. All oh, right, that's how. Uh, that's the end of the level, isn't it? That way. I really like this game, and I think you will too. Seriously, this is uh, this is good stuff. All right, we've got 18 seconds. That's longer than what we had last time. Killer this time, got ya. Got a few lives left as well, right? We know we can't we can't jump up there, so we're just gonna go for it. There we go. Oh shit, shit. Right, okay, I'm doing really bad at killing them, so let's just not. Bollocks. I forgot about those things being so. Ah! Oh. Oh. <laughs> and you guys are definitely seeing my gaming skills shining through now, though. Let's have a look down here. Oh my god. No idea what's happening here. Okay, we can't go that way. That way's gonna hurt. Up we go. Can't go that way. There's the exit, though. God knows how you get there. up here oh no how did I not remember that <laughs> this is one of them ones where you just kind of go for it <laughs> didn't work right come on fucking hell <laughs> I think I've got to exactly the same place as last time guys that is a fun game and well guys that is the reason why I love homebrew on the on the home micros I mean that game is absolutely quality you will not have played a better little shooter on the spectrum that's been brought on out in the last couple of years for me that is just absolutely superb I, I really really enjoyed that it's one of the reasons why I'm really enjoying the spectrum um, fast great graphics um, music's awesome um, loads of replayability, um, it's got a good learning curve, yeah, guys, if you've got a Spectrum, you want to play some new games, definitely, definitely, I recommend Space Monsters vs. The Hardy, £10 will get you this game, and you get your download, uh, your digital download as well, so get yourself along to Bitmap Soft and buy this game. So guys, that's it from Retrobate for today's episode. I hope you've enjoyed getting back to some homebrew gaming. Um, I've got a lot more to come soon. So until next time, stay safe and goodbye.